612 and Miss Quincy is with us this morning, Angelica Neiman. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. You are quite welcome. Thanks for getting up so early. So you were <laughs> recently crowned here within yes. the last couple of months or so. Mm -hmm. How are things going? Amazing. I've been so busy, but it's been great, you know, preparing for Miss Illinois and as well as promoting my platform, Positively Nutritious. So I've been going into schools as well as I have a three-month challenge coming up at the Croc Center. So I'm really excited to continue to promote a platform that I'm so passionate about. And let's talk about the, the schools. When the children yeah. see you, I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. they look up to you. I mean, yeah. what kind of message are you teaching them? I'm, I'm sure these are younger children, as mm -hmm. I understand. How do you get through to them? You know, with, with a topic like that. I've been teaching from either preschool to eighth grade and you know I have different interactive games. I've done a lot of research and my, my um, major is actually human nutrition so I have a lot of background and knowledge about nutrition as well. So um, getting the kids involved and I found that hands-on activities really help as well as you know letting them taste different foods mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. Um, that even though we'll be cooking up um, kale chips coming up that they try Ooh. in my classroom. You need to talk to Tegan because she's like side eyeing us over here. <laughs> she, if you know, Tegan does not eat anything green. She told me. So I you're know. Gonna, I think we're going to change that today, hopefully. You're going to need to have a chip chat, Tegan. <laughs> and mm -hmm. Give her a chip chat. Uh, um, <laughs> the other thing, when you teach kids that young, yes. then they take it home and can kind of teach the parents. So Definitely. it's a nice little mm -hmm. well-rounded platform you have there. Oh, yeah. And I, I have recipes made up. So hopefully this summer they'll have fun smoothies and different interactive um, cooking lessons that they can have with their family as well. So really bring it into a full circle. Now let's go ahead. When is uh, the Miss Illinois Miss pageant. Illinois is June 12th through the 18th in Marion. And what are you doing to practice? I feel like I would be so nervous yeah. doing that. What are you <laughs> yeah, doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to rub it in or anything, but what are you doing to, to practice? How do you kind of get prepared for that? Well, the biggest thing for me is preparing for the interview. And so staying up to um, date on my current events, promoting my platform. So now obviously going into the schools and doing different things with nutrition, as well as, you know, staying up to date with, um, you know, fitness workouts and practicing my talent, which is jazz dance. So I'm super excited about that. Um, and just preparing a lot with mock interviews as well, because you never know what they're going to ask you in there, and you just want to be prepared. Sure. So you watch KHQA this morning every day, so Absolutely. you can stay up to date on the interviews. And we've got prepped on interviews. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth. Exactly. So, uh, well, we, have right. you, we have you again in our next half hour, yes. and you're going to talk more about healthy living, and, and I think we're going to get to try the kale chips. You will. All There's right. some tasty treats coming up for sure. Okay. So we'll check in with you in the next half hour. In the meantime, some very important weather details you need to know this morning. All right, 645 is your time, and Miss Quincy Angelica Neiman is back with us today. She's brought props and she's brought food mm. because your platform is all about healthy eating, healthy yes. lifestyles. Mm -hmm. So what are some ways, and I recently did this in the last few months, that just changed the way I eat? What are some easy ways you to know, do that? Here's some healthy alternatives I hear, have for you today. Um, our first one are kale chips instead of potato chips. So what we're going to do is you're going to preheat the oven to 350. You would start by cutting up the pieces into little chip size. Um, and Jenny, you can help me with this. Okay. So you're going to um, just, you know, cut them up. Peel them off. Like yep. That. yep. And, and then once you do that, you're going to spread them out and try to make it as even as possible. And next you would take some olive oil, sprinkle it all over, I would say about a teaspoon. And Can then, we do that? yeah, okay. sure. And then just sprinkle a little bit of salt on it uh, too. Um, okay. Yeah, perfect. And then you would put about 10 minutes in the oven until it's kind of crispy. Okay. And the end result, wow, I want you guys you. try it out. Oh, TV wow, they look just like TV. Like I potato know, chips. yeah, there we go. And here Thank is you. the end result. Um, you guys can go ahead right, and try it. Because I will say flat out, and don't give me a dirty look, kale's disgusting, <laughs> but it's so good for you that you usually it's mix it awesome. with fruits and stuff because it has so many health benefits. It so. is high in vitamin K, it's high in I've vitamin C. Chip. It's actually got a lot more calcium than That's even good. milk. That's so good. it's great for you. And you know, as you can see, it maybe looks a little different, but it tastes almost the same. It does. It tastes like a potato yeah. chip. Yeah. No, different it consistency. It actually does. It yeah. tastes I know. Real it's pretty good, that. isn't it? Yeah. All right, we also have a plate of oats. Yes, yeah, so we're making <laughs> energy <laughs> bites instead okay. of cookies. There are no big energy bites. Can you help me out? So you're going to sure. put um, a cup of oats in there, um, as well as two thirds cup of peanut butter. Uh, is that and, what that is? I yeah, yeah, perfect. So two thirds cup of peanut butter in there for some protein. We also have some honey, gonna and we're going to put a tablespoon and a half in there good. of honey. I'm uh, totally to mixing. Tegan loves Perfect. honey. 
She's a honey fan over here. So this awesome. would be something taken with like right, if she doesn't Some like dark cookies. chocolate chips for my sweet tooth why, lovers why out there. Why dark chocolate? As dark chocolate, to milk chocolate is better for your heart. Okay. And then we also have some flax seeds, and you okay. can also have it ground up. But I love flax seeds because it's high in omega-3 fatty acids. It's gluten-free, high huh? in fiber, and low in carbs. Okay. So this is awesome. So you put some of that in there, mix it up. Perfect. And do you have you the magic of TV job. stuff? I do. Hey, so I cook. Here we go. So once you oh. chill this for about oh, 30 wow. minutes, this is the end result. You have to try so them? yeah, definitely take it. Um, I have to pull out my inner Ace awesome. Ventura. They're little so you balls. just yeah, you would roll them up into little balls, roll them up, put them in some more oats. I didn't and know the yeah, yeah, definitely. You You're good. Nice and they can be, yours. you know, any size you want them to be. They're great um, on the go. Um, great for snacks for the kids, yeah, especially in the summer. Mm. Super easy. Um, I also have two more alternatives. So I brought with me, um, instead of caramels and apple, we have Greek yogurt, honey, and um, just like a little bit of peanut butter. It's very good, very healthy, an awesome alternative. And then this is I all really good. also have some berry bites. You just take some Greek yogurt, um, dip your blueberries or any type of fruit in them, freeze them overnight, and they become little frozen yogurt bites. Yeah, so awesome if you want to try Where can we find these recipes? That. Do you have like a Facebook page? Or? I do. Okay. Um, you oh, can either cool. follow us on the Miss Quincy Facebook page as well as I have my own um, Facebook page under Angelica Nina Miss Quincy 2016. Excellent. I'll have the recipes up there. So. And real quickly, and we are running low on time, you're going to do some stuff like this with the Croc Center this summer. Absolutely, yes. You'll be in to preview those um, before that, so you can sign up. Yep. That's a good thing for the kids June to do June 25th, too. 10 to 11.30 at the Croc Center. It's free for all ages. Oh, great. So you'll get to see some snacks like mm. this made as those well. Thank good. you. Love them. Alrighty, we'll come up after the break. We've got a check of your morning brew.